Let's write the structural formula for 4-methyl-1-pentanol. This is also called 4-methyl-pentan-1-ol. Let's go with this for this video. So starting out, we can see it ends in O-L. So when you see something ending in O-L, that tells you you're going to have an alcohol. You'll have a carbon that'll be attached to an OH group. That's the alcohol there. So we know we have an alcohol. We'll have an OH group attached to one of the carbons. Pent, that means five. So we're going to have a chain of five carbons, and one of those carbons will be bonded to an OH group, to an alcohol group. Let's write five carbons and number them. So here's our five carbons, all single bonds. These lines, they go to hydrogens. So that's just pentane. We have pentanol, though. So this tells us that on the first carbon, carbon number one right here, we're going to have an OH group. So let's add that. We can add it on any of these here since this bond can rotate. Let's just put it up here. So right now we have one pentanol. But this four methyl, on the fourth carbon, we're going to put a methyl group. A methyl group, that's just a carbon, another carbon surrounded by hydrogens. Let's put that up here. And let's move this all down just a little bit. So this is the structural formula for 4-methyl-1-pentanol. We know we have pent, five carbons. We know we'll have an alcohol, that OH, and it'll be on the first carbon. And then we know on the fourth carbon, we'll have that methyl group, CH3 there. Note these lines here, all of these lines, they go to hydrogen atoms. Let's look at a molecular model of 4-methyl-1-pentanol. So here's the first carbon right here, the black or the gray. And here's the oxygen attached to a hydrogen here. So this is the alcohol group. So one pentanol, and we have one, two, three, four. And the fifth one, this is our fifth carbon here, is down here. On the fourth carbon, this right here, that's our methyl group. So that's the structure for 4-methyl-1-pentanol. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.